And what about the itaxial uh, uh, machine to, to, to grow, with, uh, to grow uh, layers? Yes, so itaxial uh, machine uh, has been uh, use, uh, used uh, previously to obtain the uh, thin uh, silicon layer on uh, partially masked substrates. Uh, it, the main goal of this project uh, was uh, to obtain a more quality layer on the substrates with uh, dislocations with uh, on the on the poor quality layers. Mm -hmm. So um, that was the the, um, the reason that we used the, the liquid phase taxi for this, um, this process. In the process of production of uh, solar cell, but but we now we uh, switch to the to the battery system to the thin films uh, CIGS uh, thin films. We are here in the laboratory of uh, Professor Swalomir and uh, he is going to explain what is the aim of the, this device and uh, how he is going to use to build uh, solar cells. Okay, so this is uh, the liquid phase epitaxy system and uh, you can see here uh, system uh, thanks to which uh, you can obtain uh, very thin uh, silicon layer on silicon substrates, especially if you use uh, monocrystalline silicon uh, as a substrate, you can obtain a monocrystalline silicon layer on, uh, on it. Uh, we use, um, uh, we use um, liquid phase epitaxy for the uh, epitaxial lateral overgrowth process. Uh, this pro this process uh, uh, it means that uh, you will have a, you will obtain a, or you obtain a, a silicon a layer on partially masked substrates. Uh, the advantage of this method is to is uh, that you will obtain a more quality thin, thin uh, layer, epitaxial layer than substrate. You can obtain a more quality layer than the substrate uh, on which uh, the layer uh, grows. So uh, the main parts of the uh, of the system is the standard method. Uh, the main parts of the system is uh, graphic uh, graphite uh, bolt, uh, separate chamber and uh, furnace which uh, allow us to uh, increase the temperature uh, of the system to, to put the temperature of the system equal to even 1000 Celsius degree. Okay. And uh, what type of glass do you have there to, to resist this uh, temperature? Yes, this is uh, quartz, uh, so this glass can uh, uh, can uh, be uh, used for, for so high, uh, such high uh, temperature. In, and this chamber, what type of uh, atmosphere do you have, and uh, why this? Uh, uh, what do you use this uh, this chamber? This is uh, this is the chamber with uh, neutral uh, ambient. In this case, it's uh, argon. Uh, the purpose of uh, using this kind of chamber is to do the, is to separate the silicon uh, from from the air from the 
oxygen in the, in the air because uh, silicon uh, uh, it has this property uh, in which uh, he, it uh, very easy oxidize. So the whole operation should be uh, done, should have been done, in, uh, should, be, should be done in the neutral atmosphere, in the neutral ambient. So we use uh, argon as a as a gas, as well as for uh, operation and for for the the process. So this is new in our laboratory because uh, uh, in more cases liquid phase epitaxy is uh, the gas which is used for liquid phase epitaxy is uh, hydrogen. We did the uh, uh, epitaxy in uh, argon ambient. Okay. So right now, could you explain me what is the the samples that, uh, that, you, that you, do you have and uh, what type of, uh, what is your topant and uh, how you are going to grow the, these uh, layers? Okay, so uh, the whole procedure, the whole uh, process uh, is uh, placed uh, in the graphic boat. Uh, the most uh, important thing is to create uh, the uh, silicon uh, a rich solution. We use uh, tin as a solvent. So uh, at the first, uh, the first process is of course as uh, as all processes, uh, technology, technological processes, is uh, chemical cleaning and preparation. But after that, the the first uh, step of the the next step of the uh, process is to obtain the uh, silicon rich uh, solution. It can be uh, done uh, uh, in this way. We, we need a solvent, we use tin as a solvent and then, and then we uh, uh, use uh, with this to, to do the solution we, we need also pure, pure silicon. Uh, it can be uh, it can be uh, also monocrystalline silicon as a source of the silicon atoms uh, in the solution and uh, uh, we put uh, the tin with uh, this uh, uh, silicon uh, source uh, inside the graphic, uh, graphic boat and uh, increase uh, the temperature up to above uh, 900 Celsius degree mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the system is being kept uh, is kept uh, uh, in for uh, one or two hours in uh, high temperature and after after that step, after this step of the solution we we will obtain some uh, we will obtain uh, the solution which will be uh, which, which will have a, a silicon inside the, inside the tin. So the next, uh, the next uh, step, next phase of the process is to um, move the growth substrate um, we, uh, because we want to have a thin layer on the silicon substrate, partially masked um, uh, or pure. It depends on the on the. Uh, on the demands, but uh, we have to put the uh, solution, a rich, silicon rich solution, uh, onto uh, growth substrates. It, it, it looks like uh, in this case, it, it looks like here, and then uh, we uh, decrease uh, the temperature with uh, some uh, value of cooling rate. It depends on the on the process, but it, it's, it can be uh, half uh, degree per uh, minute or one degree per minute. And uh, during this step, uh, because of the decreasing the, of the temperature, we uh, the silicon, uh, which is in the solution, crystallize on the growth uh, substrate. So the thickness and the parameters of the growth uh, 
uh, substrate of the layer which are produced on the growth substrate depends on the few parameters of the process temperature, cooling rate, so the uh, ratio of the, of the decrease in the temperature as well as um, uh, of course if we use a, a mask substrate it also depends on, on the distances between open window in this mask in this, uh, in this substrate and uh, it depends also on the, on the solvent so in the this is the, 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 the main uh, but this, these are the main steps of the uh, epitaxial process. The main uh, purpose is to, to create uh, the thin uh, layer of the silicon with use of, of this method. And, uh, prop and the most important thing is that uh, the quality of the layer is better, can be better if you have poor quality substrates. And, uh, uh, layer you, you produce can be a better quality than, uh, than the substrate. It's thanks to this mask which blocks and the uh, movement of uh, these locations into the real life. So that is the, the, the main the main thing. Of course if you if you um, don't use mask uh, you can obtain uh, pure silicon layer on PW silicon substrate and then you can do diffusion to have a uh, pre-injection to make a pre-injection and after that you can do so also uh, in, that, in that structure.